hopefully this works right here just a quick little easy set up i'm tired guys i'm tired i have to wake up yeah here we go what is going on guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys probably read already this video is going to be me talking about why i stopped doing college again and yes i say again because i have already done a little bit of college when i was out in los angeles i went to amda i was out there for just a year so like two semesters and it was very very expensive and i was very stressed out my hair is my hair is wildin oh so that was not good but the teachers there were amazing and like honestly being able to get up and act every day was like the best part of it all because i was like this is exactly what i want to do this is exactly where i want to be and i'm learning all of this stuff it was hard and easy leaving it was easy because i was like i literally don't even like want to do school but then i was also like this is hard because this is where i want to be and this is what I want to be doing. So yeah, that was like two years ago. Just recently, I so I did the pageant and then I was like, oh my gosh, all these girls are so awesome and so cool. And they all went to school. Maybe I should go to school. And then I was torn because then I was like thinking about going back out to LA for this fashion design school. But that was not, it was just wasn't going to work out. And then so I was like, okay, maybe I can start doing community college here, which you guys saw in the video before this and so just this like last week literally a week ago started doing community college because I was like okay maybe I can make school work and do part-time school and then part-time work so then I can continue to save up money because I need to move out but I'm also trying to get back out to LA I don't know when or for what but I know that that's where my heart is and that's where I want to be so long story short I was like oh maybe I can make school work again. Did the first day of school and it was okay. I only had two classes, but it was just very, very, it was different. It was new. And I was like, ooh, okay, I can maybe make this work. But then guys, I was literally so like stressed out. Like it was ridiculous. So then I, on Wednesday, I didn't even have school. I just had work. So I tried getting my homework done during the day and none of it was making sense to me. I even left work early because I was like so just stressed out because I had to get my homework done. It was ridiculous. Like being at school, I was like, okay, I want to be at work so I can get money. But then I was at work and I was like, I literally have to get this homework done so I don't like fail my class automatically and so I can try to comprehend all of this. Then I went to this class again on Thursday and English was better Math still didn't make any sense at all. And then I also did um, a theater appreciation class. But then after that, I was just like, I don't know how to explain it. It just didn't like feel right. It just didn't feel like that was where I was supposed to be, just at school in general. And I was so frustrated and I was so like upset because I was like, I don't want to upset my parents and I don't want it to say I'm like I'm not doing anything in life and it was hard because I was like I want to be able to learn and I want to be able to do stuff and I want to be able to show my family that I'm like capable of doing things but it was just it was so hard it just like knew like in my soul like it was like I keep trying to make school work for me and just like right now it's not it education is important like education is very important and it's very important to me to keep learning like new things whether that be on my own or like out in the world war i can't say that real world real out in the real world that's that's a mouthful i lost my train of thought Oh, yeah, like learning new stuff is very important. Education is very important, but I keep trying to make school work for me, and it's not. It's such a hard decision because I was so stressed out, and I was praying about it. I was like, okay, God, if you, like, I know that either way I choose, I'll be fine because God will direct my path. But it's like, why would I start school and only do it for two days and then it not, like, work out? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I don't know. It was just hard. But then I was like, I don't want to have to spend money again on something I'm not totally loving and something that I know isn't for me, especially when that money could go towards like my sister's education because she wants to go to college, you know? I'm very, very grateful though because I was so scared that <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but I was for real. I was like so anxious about everything and anything. That's like another big reason why I stopped doing school again because um, I was just super anxious about everything and I was afraid of like doing stuff and then I was afraid of disappointing my parents and I was afraid of like what they would say, what they would think of me and everything. But I'm very, very thankful for them because when I talked to them about it, they were like, we just want you to be happy with whatever you do. We want you to succeed. We want you to be happy. We want you to do what it is like you're called to and what you want to do and if it's not school then then it's not school and we don't like sometimes school's not for everybody which I was like oh thank god because like I don't know it's hard being in a family when literally everybody went to school or like you know what I'm saying and you just feel like you're not called to that but then like trying to figure out how to keep pursuing what you're called to and just figuring out how to get there especially when it's like on another level type stuff and you're like I literally have no idea what I'm gonna like how I'm even gonna get there but I don't know so that was that's my reasoning why it definitely felt weird just like dropping all the classes because I was like oh my gosh I didn't start what I finished but now I definitely like I don't have my insides feeling like this all the time I don't feel like that's trapped or as like I have time to like just try to pull my life together and be able to work more and go and work out and like hang out with my friends and like have my god time and just be able to breathe and like make videos like this and I'm definitely still like learning on what's on how to get to what's next for me that's what I'm definitely learning right now. Believing that God's going to do something in the new future, which I don't know what it might be. I don't know. He's God. He's funny. He works things very mysterious ways, people. Very, very mysterious ways. Yeah. That's why I <laughs> dropped out of college again. It's interesting, but all power to everybody that can go to school and they know that that's exactly for them and to everybody else that knows that it's not for them I am with you be scared but don't be terrified like be be scared of like okay well I'm gonna just take this leap of faith and this is not it and I'm just gonna follow that intuition like follow what your entire body feels like and what you know is in like your soul and what's for you and what's not for you and just really talk to God like every waking moment of your life and <laughs> just ask him to guide you and direct you and figure out what's next for you and where he's going to take you because I know that he has something. He always has something bigger than whatever we could ever imagine and anything we could ever think of or anything we could ever come up on our own. Uh, he's bigger than like everything. So I promise you he has a plan so for anybody out there that's like I don't know what I'm doing with my life ah! trust me I'm with you I don't know either but know that there is a future and I like I know that I don't know what it is I don't know where I'm gonna be in like the next five months um, I pray that it's not in the same spot where I am right now because and I don't think it will be because God's bigger and he's got huge, huge things for all of us. Um, so, yeah, if you don't know, just, like, talk to God and figure out, okay, what what makes your heart, like, light on fire? Like, what is your burning, like, oh, my gosh, I would love to do this. Think of that and then, like, write it down or plan it out or like talk to God and be like, Hey, I would love to be able to do this. See where he takes you because you never know. 
and I don't ever know. And I mean, this is going to be a huge journey. Maybe that's what my YouTube channel will be about. Just like my journey. Because it's like, there's definitely a shifting in this entire atmosphere. And like 2018 is going to be a big year. So maybe that's what my YouTube's going to be about. Just like my journey this year. And like where it's going to take and like where I'll be going and like who will be going with me and who will be coming into my life and who I will start life with. And like, I don't know, maybe that maybe that will be my YouTube theme because I really don't know what else. I'm not like, oh, I'm a beauty guru or, you know, like you probably notice I won't have any makeup on in like half of my videos unless I feel like get fancy. I'm like so parched. I need some water, but I don't think it's been half an hour. I just finished whitening my teeth and you have to wait like half an hour to eat or drink anything. So I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Anyways, got distracted. It was a very motivational thing that I was saying, but got distracted. I know God's got a bigger plan. I know that I need to just take some leaps of faith. It's really encouraging knowing that I'm not disappointing my parents it's all gonna work out i know that for sure for sure for sure for sure that it's all gonna work out it's gonna be awesome and yeah it's gonna be so cool so yeah that's that i'm sure at some point in the future i'll go back to school it may be like 10 years from now it could be like 30 years from now once i have like kids and everything else and it'd probably be for something specific but I don't know we'll see I would love for you guys to join me along in this journey so make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below hit the subscribe button wherever it's at just stay tuned because this could be a really really amazing year no it will be it will be a really really amazing year year just stay tuned because there's some big things coming i don't know what but just thinking about it now i i oh whew, i already know something some some big stuff is about to go down not just in my life but like in your life too like something big is gonna happen so yeah thank you guys so much for watching be sure to stay tuned and i will see you guys in my next video bye